What is going on Warriors? It is your boy Shin Ryu and it is time for another Street Fighter Duel video. Now, of course, it's another day going to the page trying to do my dailies, you know, not really contemplating the fact that, you know, upcoming content is going to be announced because, you know, as you guys know, it's another Wednesday, you know, we crossed over and typically if there is an event coming up, we'll sort of get, we we'll sort of like get a head start. The timing wasn't really down to me at all and i've sort of like been struggling personally with the recent release of wrestling hugo a character that i don't know for some reason has totally not gotten my interest at all and as a result not made me do the analysis we might end up we might end this video with the analysis but first of all up and opening you know the game for the day grew with this amazing image and it's got me thinking you know what's going on here right the reason i said what's going on here is first of all you know we're looking at this jury this is not a jury that i have seen a version of at all i don't know maybe i've just kind of lost track with the tn version and stuff like that this kind of feels like a new version of jury that maybe may have been brought up recently maybe one that the cn version may not have seen yet and maybe they may have been recently announced i have no clue at all i've stopped taking a at the tn cn versions i've just more or less focus on the one that we have here so that i don't really have unrealistic expectations right and whoa acknowledge your style but i also started to think as well as we all know we are having the rumors about turtle popping up recently we've gotten some nice footage to actually showcase the actual existence of these uh turtles and so you know it was more or less about waiting to see if we are going to be able to you know um see the returns of collabs hoping that ninja turtle is not just a brief one but also kind of like a renewal of the you know emergence of this collabs but so far what i'm seeing here is jury they might just have something else on board for us i have no idea at all but we're going to go right ahead and see what this is all about okay because it's going to be more, more descriptions out there right so of course you know got budo battle here it might be time for me to do a quick bet i think i'm going to bet on this team uh this hugo battle one time like is just a chest the, the random rewards can kind of get from it of course as we know most of the time they, they, they're quite inconsistent with how they set up their lineups but you can sort of like try and feel a trend as to who might be winning the battle in the end but this one is pretty close i know typically until they stop spamming goken and they spam bison more there's still a huge chance that Goku might come back and win this, but I'll look forward to that in the end. But that's not what today's video is all about, okay? So we're just going here, trying to have a look at whatever stuff the day has to bring. I haven't done my dailies, obviously, because typically when I wake up, I wake up not too long before work's about to start, so I have to prepare and uh, focus on work instead. And guys, I'm going to be going back to my home country um, because, you know, we have to obviously uh, lay my dad to rest. So it's going to be a long time. I've not been there like a little over a decade right uh, i've been here since 2013 in canada so this is another kind of like scenario out of love to have gone home to but you know it's gonna be a good chance to see my brother and my sister again as well as his kids because i haven't seen them in the flesh yet so but going back to obviously the stuff here we got i don't know i guess probably because i passed the level that's why this one popped up i don't know why i haven't noticed that before but we're obviously curious with regards to the new event that has been announced right so it says extreme style, all right? And we can see Jury here, you know, looking like a rock star, just like, you know, Gal as well. Very, very nice image and very, very nice costume. I like how subtle it is. Still, you know, appealing regardless, but very subtle, okay? So let's see here, is there any, whatever, just says um, during the extreme style, whatever kind of stuff you have to go, go right ahead and start collecting all this, whatever. So, it looks like, uh, okay, and Street Art is back as well, so that obviously gives us the opportunity for us to go right ahead and do, um, you know, our, you know, our A, you know, our A frags, you know, there's going to be a double pool, you know, double draft day, one that's going to be about invitation of tickets, because I did purchase enough from, you know, the tents as I typically do, pretty much all cleared out here, as you can see, and of course, we're going to do our regular, you know, um, A frags or whatever, but today's video is obviously about the new event that's coming up here uh, you know not much as to what to expect you know typically you know you get more details about it once the six day whatever elapses but we're going to go over to the notice to see if there's any news that's been put up there nothing yet probably 
we'll get something eventually and then we have more details about the character also this is going to be the secret we have no idea of what the name is extreme style maybe trend the abyss begins in six days and 13 hours the fact that they are using the term trendy you know maybe it's gonna just end up being trendy you know um jury that's probably what the name is gonna be but super reliant i mean super reminiscent of the gal setup that's the you know, impression i'm getting here you no know, rock star kind of vibes and everything you know if you guys remember how the gal one is Zell also kind of themed this purple like whatever obviously one of the most exciting thing about the uh jury being a special summon character is the fact that number one you're gonna get an ex move so that's obviously a new ex set of move to invest in i saw i've been caught up with the ex move i wanted to perform to go for before so i've not really really pushed on that but there's definitely going to be ex move to sort of like you know be you know to look forward to and hopefully we're waiting for one that kind of gives us the vibe that you know um Virg, uh, Virg, Virgil, 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 yeah, Virgil, like the one he had where you kind of get immunity for quite a while because we've not had that. And, you know, unfortunately, not everyone went for that. And of course, if you didn't get it, then it's obviously done. And it's pretty much important for most of these, you know, um, boss battles, you know, for you to get that extra hit. So having one that would not be, you know, based on, you know, trying to obviously, you know, based on ones that we miss you know would be nice to have some of a replacement something in a sort of similar mode and you know uh, obviously a defensive character is one that is going to be able to provide that and i don't think jury is going to be one that's going to give us that kind of stuff so we're going to see what her own x-men is going to be like but for now this is jury very nice character on a on a um you know um image that has been built up here kind of gives this um halloween vibe as well but we're going to end it at that okay so that's pretty much what is new so far otherwise the other thing that sort of crept in straight out is back you know how it is and i'm more curious to see what characters are actually on here um during the um you know the um what's that um Illus illusionary whatever event you know, I love the characters that were kind of like presented. It was actually like, you know, the fact that there was, you know, um, uh, Tails, Tails Jen um, was actually what was really amazing. And I believe I got him, but I know I've been running out of fighters. So maybe I wasn't able to actually get him. There we go. So he's just here right now, sticking out here. So obviously we, if we claim him, we can definitely see Tails Jen. I know my first copy of him nice animation all that kind of good stuff and speaking of jen okay actually almost forget about that too but good thing that he actually popped up today's his birthday all right unless it's today no uh the tent was his birthday so obviously what that means is we get some free 200 gems along with the video as well so if you guys haven't gotten the code yet here's an opportunity for us to put it all down together and i'm going to go right ahead and do it this time unlike the chun li one where i had to test it to make sure that i had not done it before we're back to doing this in together guys and of course if you've done already awesome you know um where they have the code already so the, it's um gonna be Gen BD24, you know, 2024 kind of stuff, whatever. And, and I like the fact that they didn't just kind of make it a one-time thing of the birthdays. Because if you remember, there are quite a few characters whose birthday was in the first week of January, but didn't get a mention. So I kind of thought maybe they were going to be over with that. But as you can see, you know, the likes of Chen Li, you know, um, some, of the, some of the characters have actually popped up as well, you know, and actually celebrated birthdays and given us a chance to get like free 200 gems. Okay. And uh, I believe that actually started to kick off after the, um, was it the, um, yeah, Ken, was it the anniversary, whatever? I, I can't remember. I, I think Ken also had one because it was, it was the one that kind of started because, you know, he's kind of born on Valentine's Day, it kind of made it have that sex or whatever and everything but let's go right here let's put it code real quick and let's get on to other aspects of the videos as well the main video obviously the main attraction trendy jury probably that's what it's, she's going to be called uh and but we obviously going to still keep an eye on or what is going on with regards to turtles i'm wondering if you know sometimes it just feels like i said it's it's actual enemy action from the devs like it's like oh these guys know that these guys are available oh my god i've gotten some new clues as to the fact that this actual stuff exists and we don't want them to feel like you know what they can actually give the they can predict our moves so let's just kind of stall them and give them something else i'm wondering if it's when we actually keep quiet about 
the turtle, whatever, then something comes up because the turtle kind of died for a bit, you know, even though people were kind of the company was kind of like screaming about it, it kind of went down for a bit. And then, of course, this new, um, recent developments with the videos kind of came out, you know, the intros of all the turtles kind of came out, and then, of course, you know, maybe maybe that's going to be the next one. We're going to see how it is, but then obviously, now it's kind of putting my boy, you know, trending with you further away. I still stand by the fact that I want to be a special character, but you deserve, deserves a really good EX move. Of course, the current EX move is nice. Yeah, uh, but still, we need a better EX move. We need one that is kind of free to play, because that's the only way you're going to get EX move if it's not like uh, some paid kind of stuff, right? But uh, we're going to go right ahead and put the birthday code in. I'm just so overwhelmed by all the details that are right here, which is kind of cool because, you know, it's sort of like been low key. Typically, whenever FG battle kind of starts, it's typically very, very more or less like, you know, the focus is on the, um, you know, getting the battle done or the kind of whatever, getting your dailies going. And there is our free 200 gems right there. Um, thanks to the devs, of course, you know, extra gems, not always a bad thing at all. Um, I've had to do some polls concerning, you know, my um you know concerning you know our uh, trendy akuma uh but you know on the two attempts that i made recently kind of struggled got nothing at all as you can see i'm down to nine again but obviously we're going to get a chance to keep on pushing and eventually have a chance to pull again but for now what we're going to do here is um we've addressed the situation with jury we're going to obviously see what the devs have to uh what they call it um provide and you know and then, of course, we're going to definitely, it's definitely going to be the typical normal, you know, battles, face the bosses, you know, get a couple of days in and all that kind of stuff. I'm thinking this is supposed to be the period where I actually have to start. I've said it before, but it's a period where I actually have to start focusing on actually building characters that can sort of go up the ranks. I think, you know, you know my, my, my Atatsuki and crew is almost done. And now that they're almost done, it's, I think it's really time to focus on building strong teams. Of course, we do know that most of them, you know, like the likes of Flame Chun Li, you know, are like, you know, um, legendary characters. So that means we obviously we get those, but, you know, we can always loan them and then have a little bit more. Of course, you're not going to get a full potential in terms of like uh, the hits, but we can always do that for the time. And so let's get over to the analysis that I still have been stalling in for the longest time, okay? Uh, one of the reasons why I actually have not been super, you know, um, eager about this particular analysis is because, first of all, the character is a tank. So, in most cases, what do tanks have to offer? You know, apart from a level of durability that allows other people to express themselves, you know, most tanks recently have been showing more than just that. For example, look at Gokin. Obviously, this is a special uh, summon character, so obviously that kind of goes a hard way. But then if you look at the likes of um, Suit Able, you know, even regular Able and even E-100, they're doing a great job as tanks. And it's just unfortunate that the Flame Faction didn't have a great tank, and this was an opportunity for them to address that with Hugo Jury, and maybe that would have made him more attractive. But making him uh, an Infernal character with such, what I call it, low budget, you know, uh, kit description. You know, as I kind of went through it, and I tried to look for a, way, a light to kind of make it interesting, but obviously, like I've said before, sometimes we look at the review at the kit, and then we just kind of feel like it's an up. But when you actually go through it, and that's why the analysis is there for, it shows up something different. But, you know, this, this just, I just going to see what, what's going to be different about this. But, you know, we're going to definitely go right ahead and see if I'm going to end up being proven wrong. Okay. Of course, the community is loud as well. They've also been, you know, booing the character. I think what really goes against him is his faction. He shouldn't have been Inferno. That's my own opinion. But now let's find out if he actually also really sucks. If that's an Inferno, maybe actually he is a cool Inferno, you know, tank. Because honestly, if we think about it, the Inferno factions don't really have tanks. I, 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 I'm just thinking about that right now. I think that's actually the key. They don't really have like you no know, major time because obviously, if you think about it, like the bad guys are not looking to protect anybody; just look to destroy, it, right? It's only good guys that tend to like have a defensive whatever, and that's where obviously you know, uh, you know, um, Bison comes in. In that he might not be a tank pure, but he's still 
does tanky stuff, right? So if we look at Balrog right now, Balrog is obviously an uh, a balanced fighter. As you can see right there. If we look at Sagat as well. We're not even going to look at Vega because Vega obviously doesn't look like one going to be tank. It's also balanced as well. So they're kind of like mostly filled with balanced based kind of fighters. And if I look at Ferris Sagat, just in case we have ignored him, he's an attacker, as you can see. And yeah, that's about it. So he's officially the first tank in the game. And of course, if you want to count Virgil, right? He's even attacker as well. So maybe that's why they decided just forced one in. Like, you know, we don't actually have like a tank for the Infernos. So let's just give them one and they give them, they give us trash. Okay. Um, unfortunately. So let's just go, when, when I mean trash, like I mean like the character profile, you know, it's not one that you would expect to be the first representing the tanks but let's see if i'm going to prove it wrong i've said enough stuff we know how we typically do this stuff right here where the tank is a bit different we just have to see if we can actually enable the existing character we have within our teams to last if they do provide some attacking you know flare then that actually works as well um if we look at the character primarily uh, based on the skill set that we looked at here, you know, we just have a chance to gain damage reduction. All right. We, and we have to see if we can combine that with maybe the C2 as well. And this one gives you super armor in the process as well. So we, and of course the passive obviously is this, um, uh, what I call it, um, damage reduction that you kind of keep on stacking up, which can be up to 30 times. So let's see how it actually works out, okay? Maybe we're just overreacting here. So what we're going to do is we're going to just look for this is character that can actually provide the damage because I'm not just going to be focusing on trying to survive, but also we want to see how quickly we can actually win the battles, right? So we're going to try and put some, okay, let's put him here. This should be, oh, it's not going to work for me. Uh, let's just, okay, she's not going to work for me. I just go right ahead and just put somebody else in there. Ba, 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 ba. Who do I want to do? Who do I want to put in there? Okay, maybe I just put um, you. All right, and I'm just going to put him inside there, and then that way we can just go right ahead and let's hit the fight button. Okay, so now let's go right ahead and let's see. We're going to obviously Try and start with him, see how well it kind of protects. Okay, obviously he's doing nothing yet, so let's see what happens here. I'm gonna add some, I shouldn't actually have added that extra protection. Maybe she use someone else's protection. So, he seems a bit tanky, but then I can see the rest of the folks are getting their ass whooped. So we're gonna go right ahead and try again. We're not gonna, oh, we already lost somebody. I was gonna say we're not gonna use, um, And the other thing is that most other tanks that are out there typically like tanks that we need, we actually need uh, Yoon's help. Tanks actually have C3, he doesn't. So, um, he just seems like he can take a lot of hits. But as you can see, the other crew members are gone. And honestly, I'm combining protection from, you know, Yang, right? I probably shouldn't have added another person there to add some protection there. Underwhelming first battle. Like I've never seen such a disappointing you know start. But we got Drew right now. Drew's supposed to be like a heavy hidden character. We're gonna just try and pack the team with you know a lot of um We're gonna pack the team with a lot of attackers and you know support. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try and avoid having any person that can actually you know um add to the protection of our character we're just going to focus on him doing the job fully right so let's see you're an inferno you know tank you got to show me what you can get so now he's facing his um original version we're going to go right ahead get this done here we're going to go oh you know what i'm not going to add that last protection unfortunately okay now they're attacking after wow okay obviously this means that our crew is going to be slow we're going to try and use regular attack like how we typically try and fight. As you can see, um, most of the team members in the crew, it's it's almost like we're, we're winning, but it's in spite of him. It's not because of him, right? Like, it's like, he's just there. He's just from the slot. I think those who were disappointed with how, you know, um, first Sagat kind of like worked out are going to be even more disappointed so far, so far. But, but the truth matters that I'm not seeing anything that is kind of like giving me that vibe, like what Suit Able provided. And Suit Able is 
a regular faction character, not a special faction character. So that's like I said, you know, you can uh, you could sort of like tell that there might be reasons to be discouraged about this character, but we're gonna go right ahead and still try and get things done. Let's yeah, they're all fast. I'm just gonna leave live like that. So this is all about speed right now. Um, I'm gonna try and focus again on the C1 and the C3. All right. Obviously, we want to win as well, so we have to consider all other factors too. Okay, so let's go. Get hurt. Use his ever, and then use able to. Oh, what happened? What happened? Uh, that's able. I meant to aid him. Maybe that's why I didn't actually attack. He was upset. Let's go right here and see if we can defend ourselves. What is going on here, guys? Doesn't matter. The tank is gone. Uh, let's see what we can do now that attack is no longer with us. Okay, let's see if we can win without him. Now we just three, a team of three, all right, and we didn't get to drop our flame, so obviously it's going to be a tough battle at this point in time. What I'm seeing here is this: like, let's fill up, let's fill up this slot like this, right? Let's just go right ahead. And let's fill up the slot, okay? Put um the characters that we care about. And we're not going to include him in this battle. Okay, we're going to just focus on all the other characters. He's not going to be included in the battle at all. And let's see how we feel. Let him just go right ahead and just stand and see if we can actually survive. Which, of course, is, so far, he's not really doing a good job. So we're going to go like this. Okay, as you know, Abel is a superstar with his flames. That's how it just keeps on burning. It is insane how this works. Go right again. We should be able to win the battle this time after this. Well, you can see how Yang is doing such a good job over there, but of course the fire is going to be too much for him to overcome. Boom, all over. But what am I saying here? We do not include him in whatever protection that we think maybe he having. So we are not actually feeling anything either. Like he is going to be a tough character to recommend, 100%. What we're going to do is we're going to keep on doing this playing around the character without him so that once we realize you know what we can't actually survive we're then going to see if he provides any survivability for the team if you know what i'm trying to say right for now there is nothing that is giving me any conviction about the character other than the fact that he's just a spot filler i'm really sorry i don't know i've never really bashed a character like this before i don't like to do this but that is the vibe he is given us for sure right like he would have gotten a pass if he wasn't like you know an inferno character like dan is a much better tank than him and i'm not even capping i'm not capping at all i'm excited to actually boss dan so right now we can see here we're almost running out of um our team did not survive okay so maybe this is going to be an opportunity for him to shine all right this is exactly what i'm looking for where we can actually make it Without this guy, I can see Blanky is actually stepping up. You see, Blanky is one character. Just picking up in on the side note, um, that I have truly, truly underestimated, and I actually have to admit it. Look at what he's doing right now, just by himself. Like, I, I think I'm definitely going to be focused on him next. You know, he did in terms of like some regular characters that they have. Okay, but that was actually an amazing showcase. Imagine we're doing a, a, an analysis for. You know, resting Hugo and Black has when I kind of wins his uh, nomination, you know, justification. All right. So we're going to go right ahead and do this again. Uh, let's. Let's do it this way. All right. Okay. So because we, we go, we go, yeah, we're going to try. We're going to try and use Madri to try and, uh, you know, soften the blow that we can see right here. Sagat is really, really nasty, okay? I think if we can defeat Sagat, then we're pretty much good. Okay, that is where the main threat is, right? So we got him out of the way right now. Because the reason why I'm saying this is because I don't want to just give up first time around and just say, hey, you know what? We got this guy involved right now, and so that's why we're winning. Nope, we didn't get him, we didn't get him involved at all. He was just busy surviving, standing there with no influence at all we just needed him to complete the combo as you can see guys he is not really impressing at all we're not seeing any shield no nothing he's just like you know being a big 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 bag of space we're going to do this again like i said before we're going to um 
maybe I should use thousand, but you know what? I, we're just gonna go. We're gonna we're gonna go around him again. Oops, looks like we need to use him this time around. We need to use him for the combo, guys. So and we got Bison here, of course. How's that is a, a surprise having Bison in the lineup there. But we're gonna try and pierce through Bison. Come on. There we go. So the only thing he did was last long enough for us to like take him out with the last character. Otherwise, I'm sorry guys. This is gonna be this video is quick in terms of like progression, but it is definitely not because of this guy at all. So we're gonna go right ahead again. We're gonna go right ahead and put characters that are just strictly gonna be good for offensive means, all right? And see if we're gonna to have to eventually require the character if you know nothing works out so far. So we got Zangief on one side representing uh, regular tanks. And of course, we got protection from Achan as well. When we got first time around, next I'm going to go Dalzin with his uh, flame. Let's get rid of everybody. The only thing we can say for sure is that he is quite durable. I can't actually argue with that. Oh, we messed up here. We're going to have to use Gal instead. But since we already sucked. So the characters in. Oh, look at Chun Li right there, just showing her support, you know, viability. The only time we realize that we need, you know, Hugo, <laughs> unfortunately, which is kind of like really nasty, is when we need to complete a combo. That's just it. That's just it, guys. We've completed the stuff. And honestly, I have learned nothing other than the fact that I'm not going to be getting the character on purpose. And I'm hoping that when we actually do, you know, um, our, infer uh, our, you know, draft pulls for both, you know, um, the A frags and the invitational tickets, he's not going to want a guy that's going to be pulled out, pulled out there for sure. He's actually even inspired me as to another list I'm going to have to create. You know, while we create the top five guys I want to get, one also want to create the top five guys we don't want to get. Okay, because honestly, I still like, I still, as much as I'm not impressed with which Ferris to get at all, I still don't mind the character. I still feel like there's something hidden, you know, that can be, you know, found out more about him. That's the way I kind of feel. But this guy here, nah. That's all I'm gonna say, guys. But guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, it's been a minute. I'm happy here. Let me know what you guys think about the new event that is coming here. Not this guy right here. This fine lady over here. What we, how excited are you guys? Um, is this uh a bit of a bummer for you guys with regards to the next review not being anything about turtles? Um, do you think the devs have a different plan towards the turtles event? Uh, as we know, we are now have you know a bit more concrete evidence with the fact that this stuff actually exists now. A matter of the devs now putting it out there. Is there anything that has to do with, you know, um, finalizing signs? Are they trying to, like, make sure that they don't just focus on turtles, but they're racking up other, you know, um, licenses that they need to, like, you know, get so that they can actually ensure that it is not a one-time collaboration? Because I think, I believe, that one, the one thing the devs don't want to do is ensure that the turtles is just a one-time collab event that kind of has to happen. Maybe we still have the Yakuza, you know, you know you know stuff as well but it is actual characters from the shredder universe who are kind of cross-dressed into i want to make cross dress i mean cross dressed into a different you know um you know uh title you know um in this case yakuza right otherwise guys it's been your boy shinry you thanks for tuning in today make sure you smash a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thanks for the guys who have subscribed so far uh thanks for those who have been patient as well with me throughout through these tough times you know like i said before um in the next couple of uh in, in the next in 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 a, in a week you know, um, I'm going to be, um, well, by this weekend, I'm going to be traveling. And in a week after that, it's going to be the burial. Uh, and then after that, you know, um, we get, you know, just a chance to just kind of like, just, you know, obviously see the emotions out. And, you know, of course, this is going to be a long lasting thing. But, you know, I'm 
much better guys in case you guys are sort of wondering but most importantly you know i also want to let you know that uh don't worry if the videos are sort of like you know not you know incoming as much as you can there are things that are going to be popping out at a more frequent rate once you know these few weeks elapses but in between that i'm going to try my best to you know still try and upload hopefully you know um being in nigeria is not going to you know hinder any you know uh in terms of like you know connection or kind of whatever but i'm gonna try and make sure i can still put stuff out there but otherwise been your boy shin you thanks for tuning in guys i appreciate you guys once again you guys have been amazing thanks for the comments that keeps on coming in uh you guys actually rock uh hopefully we're gonna be getting more and more comments as you guys watch um these videos otherwise once again let me know what you guys think about the jury event and i'll catch you guys in the next one cheers